remembering the life of Neil Agut. One of the few white anti-apartheid activists of his era, coming from a privileged community to fight for equality. He believed every person, regardless of race, religion, gender or sexuality, had the right to justice, liberty and equal opportunity. He quickly became a target for the brutally repressive regime in the 1980s. He was arrested in late 1981, ending up in Johannesburg's notorious police headquarters, John Foster Square, where he left in a coffin. And I think of him in some little hospital right in, in a deep country where people have very, very little, just trying to help the poor and the needy as much as he can. He was there for the people. He'd have been practicing his medicine, I'm quite sure and helping people who had no other help and no other means of help. And um, it's so sad that someone who could have offered so much was cut down in his prime, really. The lack of prostitution in many politically motivated murders remains a sticking point. Let me now return to the, the Agate case. They too have been denied accountability. Lieutenant Stephen Whitehead, he was the lead interrogator the main tormentor of, of Neil. He died on the 22nd of April 2019, ironically, in the same week that the Minister of Justice announced that the inquest would be reopened. At that time, he was only 62 years old. Whitehead and others could have been held to account if the authorities had acted timelessly, if they'd done their job under law and the constitution and had not succumbed to political pressure. I want to mention another um, Kingswood College student from those days, uh, Brian Sandberg. Brian was a friend and classmate of Neil here at Kingswood. He founded the Neil Agat support group and campaigned for many years uh, for justice. He laid criminal charges against Whitehead at the Johannesburg Central Police Station, indeed the same police station or building where, where Neil died, that he did in 2013. If the authorities had acted upon that complaint as far back as 2013, some accountability could have been secured. We could have uh, faced Stephen Whitehead and asked him some hard questions. Brian died in 2014. The lecture also brought enlightenment to many attending. I think what stood out for me was just the fact that it took so many years in order for people just to get justice. I honestly didn't realize that um, it could take that long in order for someone just to find out the truth behind what happened to their loved ones and their family members. So I think that's really what stood out for me because that's something that I re didn't really know about. For me what stood out is the amount of injustice that occurred during that time because especially for me I'm not from South Africa so all that I really hear about that time is during your history lesson or what you hear you know what makes it over the border but I think actually getting to hear the amount of injustice that occurred during that time and how serious it was and that although the law may have said you cannot go against it or society may have said that there were certain people who despite all of that went against it and felt that it was most important to stand up for injustice and for human rights. Advocate Vani called on learners to stand up against injustice and fight a cause worth fighting for. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Makanda.